ready start the feeling that gandhi ji and pandit ji had brought to the fore before our independence is now spreading throughout the world after 40 or 50 years it is just insanity that we continue to manufacture weapons while the available weapons alone can extinguish the entire world 50 times it is really madness that 15 to 20 million rupees are spent every minute in the world on arms race even a small fraction of it can help a lot in eradicating poverty diseases and unemployment today india is paying attention to these things we are paying attention to human rights and human dignity south africa where gandhi ji had started his first satyagraha is still reeling under slavery the flag of freedom has not still gone up there it is shameful that 100 years have passed hundreds and thousands of freedom fighters have offered sacrifices including their lives and the place from where the flame of freedom rose is still under slavery we have raised the question of poor people in the world we have taken up the cause of suppressed sections of the world we have demonstrated that our voice is that of balance tolerance compassion truth and nonviolence last month we signed an agreement in sri lanka an agreement that proved the righteousness of our policy which demonstrated that the impact of our foreign policy is good and that india was moving on the right path this is an important achievement in these 50 years the last agreement that we have reached and signed has brought peace and cooperation in sri lanka this has strengthened the cause of peace and cooperation in the entire region we have stalled the activities of those people who were endangering the security of the entire region otherwise the race of power blows could have reached this region the neighborhood of india this has strengthened the cause of non alignment it has been proved that countries can solve their problems through dialogue without allowing the big powers or other sections or parties to come in we have seen that when difficult today on the 50th anniversary of our independence we have to rededicate ourselves to those ideas and concepts our greatest achievement is the system given to us by our forefathers we have seen that the system is in tune with our ancient traditions and our culture which is continuing uninterrupted for thousands of years we used that spirit in our struggle for freedom and should use it in building a new india today our greatest attainment is our democracy and we have to safeguard and consolidate it stop